Although Singapore has limited natural resources, our strategic geographical location has enabled us to achieve great success as a shipping port. This, however, did not happen by luck or chance, but was brought about through shrewd economic policy, coupled with the contributions of early private enterprises like the Tanjong Paga Dock Company. This map is a plan of the Tanjong Paga Dock Company, or TPDC, and depicts its various properties, including docks, wharves, go-downs, coal sheds, staff and workers' quarters, and workshops. It is dated 2 August 1878 and was signed off by Major John Frederick McNair, the Colonial Engineer and Surveyor General of the Straits Settlement. TPDC was established in 1864 to construct Victoria Dock, a large dry dock located to the west of Tanjong Paga. From the 1850s, companies started to build wharfs in the new harbour area, later known as Keppel Harbour. As the Singapore River was overcrowded and steam vessels which required docking were increasingly replacing sail vessels. The plan shows Victoria Dock as well as the construction of a new dock. This is Albert Dock, which opened in 1879. It was built to meet the demand for ship servicing. Facilities such as machine shops, blacksmith shops, boiler and foundry can be seen near the docks. TBDC was also in the business of providing storage facilities for many shipping and coaling companies. Thus, Many go-downs and coal sheds are included in the plan. An interesting feature of this map are these hand-drawn red lines. The legend explains that these lines represent water services. They are likely planned water pipes that TBDC laid in 1880 so that they could sell water directly from their own pumps to the ships. Prior to the installation of the pipes, Water was supplied by private companies, which carried the water to the ships by boats. The plan also shows that materials such as brick, iron and tiles were used in the construction of the coal sheds. This is likely in response to a large fire that had occurred a year earlier. TBDC continued to grow in the years after the plan was drawn. By 1899, TBDC had almost total control over Singapore's ports and harbours after acquiring other dock companies and wharfs establishments and merging with the new harbour dock company. However, by the end of the 19th century, TBDC could not put in more capital to improve its facilities and was eventually taken over by the British government in 1905. TBDC was the forerunner of the Singapore Harbour Board Port of Singapore Authority and Maritime Port Authority of Singapore. It contributed greatly to Singapore's growth through its dominant role in the development of its port. It was able to adapt to changes in demand for port facilities following the opening of the Suez Canal and the increasing arrival of steamships, thus elevating Singapore's status as a major port through its timely enhancement of its port's facilities.